Hey guys! So first things first, I'm the realist. Got my hair done today and I went red. And if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you would know that. So if you're not, you should do that because if I'm not on YouTube, I'm posting on those. I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have tried many a times to get this red hair. I remember the first time that I tried to go red. Well, not necessarily the first time. The first time I tried with professional products. So story time, if it's like, here we go. <laughs> This was the day after my grandmother's wedding. Last year, February 10th, I remember the day, because it was just so traumatic. I had done my research, a lot of research on red hair, right? Like everyone does on YouTube. You watch Nicole Guerrero's video on how to dye, the, dye your hair red without bleach. My friend Sabrina, you guys all know, she's my best friend. She did the same video and she used the same products and did it and it came out flawlessly. Oh yeah, I can totally do this. I, I dye my hair all the time, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, dude. I'm a dude this because like I want red hair. If you guys know me, you know that I am obsessed with Ariel or the Little Mermaid since I was born. Like, I'm so obsessed. Like, I even have my Little Mermaid sunglasses right here. Like, I, want movies, want I went to Sally's and I got everything I needed. I needed dye, developer. I needed a mixing bowl and the little brush thing, painter brush. So I got the stuff. Mind you, the total was like $60, $50, $60, right? So I go home and I'm like, I'm gonna be popping. Yes, I'm getting my red hair. No, no. I start doing this stuff. I wanna say it was two boxes of the L'Oreal High Color Highlights, right? And so I'm mixing it. I literally didn't have enough to cover my entire head and I didn't have enough money to go and get extra boxes. So I tried my best to cover my whole head. I covered my roots at least. I practically covered my entire head. So I leave it on my hair for about 30 to 45 minutes and I put a plastic bag on my head because they say heat helps your color process a little bit faster. <laughs> 45 minutes later, I get in the shower to rinse it out and I'm looking at my hair. It didn't touch my ends whatsoever. It was literally hot pink like to right here and then black. It didn't touch my ends whatsoever. At first I was like, oh, it's just because my hair is wet. I can't see the color. So it let dry a little bit and my mom came home and I came out of my room and I was like, mom, okay, I don't know what I did wrong, but I look like a troll doll and I don't know what I did. Like, I was literally, like, I had full face makeup on because I was like, I'm going to look so cute. I might as well have a makeup on. Might as, might as well be ready for a selfie session. Am I right, lady? It's just comical to think back on because it was just such, like, a surreal moment. Like, I just ruined my hair. I have no money to fix it. What are you going to do now? I'm going to Dinner World. So my mom, I'm standing there with bright pink roots, a dirty like messy bun and my hair is like standing up because it's so freaking fried from the dye and my mom like looks at me and just busts out laughing and because she started laughing she got mad and because she started laughing it pissed me off so I was like no do you do you see how traumatized I am I'm like crying my mascara is running down my face and I started screaming I'm like no stop yelling this is not funny and then me doing that just made her laugh even harder so moral of the story go to the hair salon if you're gonna go an extremely bright color because you will screw up you will look like a troll doll and you'll have to do the walk of shame and do a CVS wearing a hat with two boxes of off black hair dye.